we'll just get on this for five minutes. Yeah. And then go explore the wilderness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new YouTube video. It is Thursday. It is Jesus Mikey's last heavy deadlift before heading to Malta. So I think Jesus is wearing a singlet. Mikey, I'm not sure if he's wearing a singlet. I'm not wearing a singlet. I'm wearing the, I'm all rascaled out. Code Pobs at checkout. Save yourself some money. Hey, yeah, baby. Rascal of Rascal Peril. If you're not buying Rascal, you're a fake weeb. You're not a real. You're a fake natty if you're not buying a rascal. That's right. Fake natter, natter. <laughs> uh -oh. So shout out to Boss Man Hefe, Mr. Omar. I have finally reached enlightenment, and I have found the answer to the most convoluted, the most complex yet simple question the universe has ever asked. And no, it's not as God real because God is definitely real. That is not a complicated question. But in other essence, who would win between an immovable object and an unstoppable force? And the answer to that is whoever trained the hardest. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we're about to put on a nice little deadlift show for you guys. God willing. God you know, willing. Mike, you got a nice PR, or nice deadlift today. So, Ash is about to pull up soon. So, it's going to be another, another grouped deadlift video for you guys. I know you guys have been commenting Ooh. that you guys are loving um, these. And we have Shane on the Texas deadlift board. Yeah. So, Shane's also here, of course. He's not gonna be using the power bar. He's actually right bar there. only. Oh, it'll be a nice group deadlift video like last week. Just like you guys have been liking. Doing this kind of warm up, what it's meant to do is get your heart pumping, get you sweating a little bit. If you're feeling a little sore, a little tight, having increased blood flow certainly helps you get ready for explosive movement, you know? This isn't gonna tire you out. It's just gonna, gonna get the blood flowing. But, all right guys, about to head to the room and get started on deadlifts. There you go. Oh, the recording? Ooh. Oh, to the land. That looks good. Come on. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Dude, we're fucking around, bro, and we're boys, so we know. I know, that's what I'm saying. They, they see us, and they're like, oh, yeah. I literally just, I, bro. I looked at my phone, I looked up, and you were done with the lift already. I'm hoping to be on the floor. My bad.
There you go. Come on. There you go. Let's go. One more. One more. Finish. Finish. One more. Hold on to it. Come on. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. I don't think I have a good second one to have it. What? Go, Jay. There you go. All right, guys, that'll be the end of the video. Man, it was a great session. I think this is a good way to start block number two. Uh, I'm closing in pretty close. It may be 12 weeks away, but that, that's too close for comfort. I'm not gonna lie to you, like 12 weeks is too close. So now is the time to really time it in bring it in and get focused up because um, the time is now basically so did a 7 uh, 16 single move stupid fast I hit a nice uh, triple I did 606 650 attempted uh, 672 I only got two reps but I've done that for almost I've done that for four before so I'm not really tripping about it and you know I still got accessories but it was a good day guys i mean i'm not this is probably the best deadlift session i've had in such a long time and i'm gonna you know put it down and take the w on it and we're gonna keep growing keep getting bigger so like nine days out now heading out monday so we'll probably do we'll probably record tomorrow record maybe something on the weekend just because you guys you this q a that i did yesterday the my favorite q a i've ever done because you guys actually asked me questions that require some sort of thought for myself and if you know me i love to teach you know when i'm in my bag when i'm in my brain i just love to share things off my perspective but i mean besides that nine days out today was uh it's honestly exactly what I would expect. You know, I, I was coming in with high hopes, but you have to be very adaptable to your body and what you need on the day. I had an RP 7A in single, I hit 804 for one. Felt hard, you know, I just know my body, like when my quad tendon starts to kind of tingle a little bit, like I just know like, okay, I'm having to overcompensate with my quads to get the bar off the ground. It's like, okay, like it's not smart to go up. So I called it there and then, redirected whatever energy I had left into trying to have a constructive set of back downs, right? So I went 606, 672, 749. The 749 for two was a little sloppy. I'm not gonna lie. Not the happiest with it, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? Nine days out, like my body is where it's at. I haven't been pushing like super hard going into Worlds, but I've kind of had to push harder than I would like just because we took like the first four weeks after Sheffield kind of like, chilly you know but i mean i'm not disappointed like i'm very fortunate to be in a position where i have that luxury I, it's not like i'm going into worlds like having to go 100 percent like i could literally go a thousand high fives middle to low eights and win by 200 300 pounds like uh you know that's just the field that's gonna be there today um but and i was talking to pablo about this and it's like he kind of he kind of made a good point that I should try to finish this prep with the mentality that I started because it could be very convoluted and very self-destructive to try to ego lift essentially in competition, which is worst case scenario. So, I mean, like my goal is to break 2600, 2606 at Sheffield in sleeves. I'm going to take Daniel Bell's record and I'm going to do it in rad sleeves. I'm going to do it natural and I'm going to do it next February. God willing, I stay healthy. You know, that's literally what, another 20 something kilos? Bro, it's coming pretty fast. It's eight months. Eight months. Eight months away. That, guys, the year is coming, it's going pretty quick. 
We cannot become a victim of being content. I am myself guilty of this. Years coming fast. Sorry to interrupt. I don't know. Actually, Pablo made a good point. Bro. So somebody asked me yesterday in my Q and A. They were like, "Hey, Zeus, like, how do you still have the drive to come in every day and aspire to be the best you can be when you're already number one?" And I think I've spoken about this several times. Like, what? my predecessors were stricken with was that dilemma itself they reached that number one spot and they just kind of stalled out they never really like brought anything out more out of themselves but for myself is i just know i can do so much more like i just my faith is in god my belief in myself it's i have no reason to believe i should be slowing down anytime soon yeah. you know like i've been prioritizing my health you know after worlds i'm gonna try to cut a little bit you know enjoy my summer that's such a big part of it you know i'm 25 now i'm a little bit wiser than i was the day before the year before um i just feel like there's no reason me and Pablo shouldn't be like the two strongest sons of guns that have ever walked the earth drug free. There's no happen. reason. There's no, it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. Um, so I it's mean, like, I think what just motivates me and Pablo to come in every single day, it's like, we just have this desire innately inside us that just drives us to do what we do. You know, it's, it's, a come, it's an accumulation of a lot of things, you know, but primarily it's just, we are, doing what we're doing for God, you know, we're trying, we're not perfect, we're not the ideal epitome of what I would consider a lawfully Christ-abiding man, but we're trying every day, we're fighting against our flesh, we're fighting against the, yeah. the wiles of the world, you know, but I mean, I think that's pretty good for a conclusion there, we kind of vlogged for a little bit. Yeah. You know, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, I mean, the time to subscribe is now, guys, I think we're still relatively very young. You know, I think that's one thing that a lot of you guys mistake us for is that we may look 30, but we're not. We're still in our early 20s and we're still putting up a good fight with a bunch of these other guys that have been in the sport double, triple, four, quadruple more times or longer than we have. The guys, like, let me give you guys some context. The people that Pablo has to beat were already hitting puberty by the time Pablo was still in our dad's nutsack. Yes. That's just some, some context. These guys were already developing puberty muscle, puberty bone density. Yeah. They were going through growth spurts. Like, these guys are gonna have no excuse by the time this guy comes around and is in his full form, yeah. so. This is not my final form, it's, it's cringy. Not. You know, that's not even cringy. It's not my final form. Hey, bro, we're Fuck some, we're some, I didn't body OG, that. We're some OG DBZ fans. Yeah. And so, if you guys are brand new or, or you haven't subscribed or you happen to come to this video specifically, like, subscribe. I think this is a perfect channel for you guys. It's definitely fulfilling. You can see a bunch of life that we, we just don't live. We talk about life, motivation, discipline. We have to embody that as people and especially as men of God. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one because you do not want to miss it. All right, guys. Peace out. Man, I got me pumped up, bro. That was a good little vlog session. I got me pumped up. I was thinking about that the other day. Pumped up.